Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we're already trending. That's so cool. Um I just uploaded my cover of Back to Black on YouTube. Um, if you guys want to go check it out, it's on my Twitter. It's just twitter.com slash Madison Beer. Um, it's up right now on my Twitter. So if you'd like to check it out, please do. Um, it's just a cover of Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. And I worked really hard on it. So yeah, if you guys can check it out, that'd be really, really great. Um, yeah, like I said, it's on my Twitter right now. And if you guys go and retweet the tweet that um, says it, I will give you a follow. And just tell me what you think. Thank you, Kiki Kel, for tipping a thousand bars. I do you know like so randomly. I, you guys always get so mad at me. You're like, why are you doing it right now? Um, yeah, if you go retweet my recent tweet about my cover, I will follow you on Twitter. How's everyone's day been? Good? Living? Chilling? Mama, you cut your hair? I did. I feel like a boy. The back of my head feels like a boy's head. I don't know if you can see. Can you see? If I can turn around, you can see. See? Just shaved it. Just shaved the back of my head just because I was actually at a haircut with Jack and he was getting his hair cut, and I saw the guy, like, buzzing the back of his head, and I was like, it looks like it feels really good, and it looks like it's just, like, fun, and <laughs> I was like, can you shave my head, and the guy's like, are you sure you just want to, like, do that, you don't want to think about it at all, and I was like, no, just do it, I was like, just shave my head, and <laughs> he just thought it was crazy. Um... So guys, what should we talk about? I'll talk about anything I feel like at the moment. I don't know what, I don't even know, I don't know what to talk about. I just more made this just to tell you guys about the cover. Um, I did, um, I have a lot of new music coming out, which is really exciting for me. I was in the studio with a guy named Steve Aoki. If you guys don't know who he is, you should. He's like an incredible DJ and he's just amazing. And we're making such a pretty song and you guys are going to really love it. And my hair is sticking out of my hair. It always does this because... Uh, um, but 
yeah, I just think that I, I don't know, I'm just really, really excited, and that's coming out, and I also have a lot of just, like, original stuff on my own coming out really soon, and I don't know, it's just gonna be really great, and 2016 was definitely the year that I'm, like, focusing a ton on music, and just wanting to, like, release so much stuff for you guys, just because, um, I feel like I don't really put enough music out, and I definitely want to, because it's, like, what I do, you know, it's, like, what I love to do, so, yeah. I mean, we could do, like, an Ask Madison, if you want, or we could do an Ask Madison right now, and I could just answer a bunch of, like, random questions, but I want you guys to ask questions that are, like, super, super random, like, super random, um, like, questions like totally like you can ask totally random questions like super weird ones um yeah I do like cookie dough yes I do like cookie dough On a scale of 1 to 10, rate mac and cheese. Like, good mac and cheese, I'd give it, like, a solid 9. I don't know, it's not, like, my favorite thing to eat, but I do like mac and cheese. So, I'll probably give it, like, a 9. Really good mac and cheese. What inspired you to stop wearing makeup? Um, I think... Honestly, what inspired me to stop wearing makeup was, first of all, I started breaking out a lot. You could see I have, like, a little pimple here and a little pimple here. But I, I mean, I started breaking out, and, like, I usually don't break out. My skin is usually good, and I just was, like, okay, I'm just going to give my skin a little break and, like, not wear makeup for a couple days. Because I usually wear, like, a lot of makeup, like, foundation and contour and all that stuff. And I was just, like, I don't know, like, I just don't, like, want to wear it anymore. And... Basically, I just, like, took a picture with no makeup on just because, like, everyone always is like, oh, I'd love to see you with no makeup. And I posted and every single person just, like, stopped wearing makeup. So I just, like, totally stopped wearing makeup and I don't wear makeup anymore. Like, I have no makeup on right now. I just don't wear it anymore. Do you work out? No. Even though I'm wearing a sports bra, I don't, I don't work out. I just like this <laughs> sports. I always wear, like, sports bras and... Sweatpants is like what you'll always find me in in my, in my, uh, <laughs> in my house when I'm just like hanging. Um, what's your favorite Netflix show? Um, I don't really, I don't really, like, have a favorite one. I watch Dance Moms. I love that show. Um, favorite color for clothes? I always am in, like, black and white. I don't really wear much other than black and white or gray. Ever be friends with a fan? I'm friends with a lot of fans. Lots and lots of fans. I love you guys. You guys are, I'm like, my only friends. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for questions, I'm not trying to be boring. Um. But yeah, go check out my new cover on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um. 
advice for people that are getting bullied. Don't let people drag you down. I always just hit myself in the face with my phone. Um, yeah, don't let people bring you down. Tacos or pizza? I, I like, honestly, pizza better. But certain tacos, like, I'm weird. I'll eat, like, the meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato. That's about all. I'm, like, guacamole. That's about all I really have on it, though. Like, I don't really like spicy foods, so I probably won't. I don't know. Where did you get your necklace? This one is, like, barbed wire. It's supposed to be. It's It was from, like, a store on Fairfax, which is, like, a, a road in California. And then this one I got for my, like, seventh birthday from my gram from my aunt. And I just have really been really wearing it ever since. Where do you live? I live in California. Are you and Kylie still friends? Yeah, we're still friends. Much love from Portugal. I love you, Portugal. Hi, Hannah. Um, why did you copy that again? I was shaving your head. What? Yo. I could actually show you the photo that I copied to shave my head. If you want to say that I copied Kylie, she shaved her head probably like two years ago like uh, yeah. people make it like once kylie jenner does something and someone does it right after like oh my god they're copying kylie jenner like no like <laughs> this is the photo i copied that's not kylie jenner that is someone from tumblr or pinterest or i don't know but i saw it and i literally copied that picture so in my eyes that really doesn't look like kylie jenner I don't know. I just like look. That's the picture, and that's what I tried to get my hair to look like. I don't know if I did good. This is what I tried to get it to look like. And her hair is purple, which I think is really cool. Like, but and her her like section she shaved is a lot bigger than the section that I shave. Like. Ow, it's really in my eye and it hurts really bad. Yeah, this is mine. I mean, no, this is the girl's hair that I copied, and this is my hair. Wait, look at this video. So, chill with the I copied. I really don't know. There's something in my eye and it hurts so bad. I don't know what it is. Guys, what is going on? I'm literally freaking out. Alright, I'm gonna tweet this because we both know what it is. Oh no. Alright. 
What did you and Jack do for the Coca Cola thing? Oh my God. Okay, we literally jumped in my pool, and my pool is negative five thousand degrees. It is literally on the verge of frozen. And they really just wanted us to go in. And I was like, okay, fine, we'll do it. It's not going to be that bad. So I put on like sweatpants and a shirt. And I was like, okay, let's just do it. We held hands and we just ran and jumped in. And like right when we jumped in, I was like, oh my God. It was the coldest thing like I've ever felt. Like if you've ever taken like an ice bath, it was like that times 5,000. It was insane. And like two seconds later, at like that part where we're like, oh my God. Yeah, we were like running to the hot tub and the hot tub we like jumped in and it was like super super hot and it just felt so weird because it's like it's like going from freezing cold to like super super hot and it just felt so weird it felt like it was like something out of like I felt like I was being abducted it was scary I don't know it was really freaky but yeah it was just too it was too much it was too too much I didn't like it do you guys like my new cover I just posted? I posted it on YouTube. All right, I'm going to guess some people. Yeah, some people does not work on my on my computer for some reason. Every time I try and guess somebody, it just keeps connecting, 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 and then it either answers and then just hangs up on them, or it just never answers. I don't know, but that's just a struggle. Um, but yeah, I basically just wanted to come on just to be like, yo, check out my new cover because I love you guys and I want you to see it because I uploaded it for y'all. Um, they said the time's supposed to be here, but I don't know to be here. I'm in California dreaming all I used to be. Let's see if I can bounce on the bar. And we were young Hello, So hello from the No, what? Someone said this girl with the Carter and that's like, no. no that was not me. God damn it. Ow! <laughs> that hurt so bad. Ow. It just fell and literally hit my my leg so hard. That was a fail. So hello from me. Those are the words. So hello from the other side. I must have thought a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry, breaking your heart. 
I like have listened to that song probably once or twice, so I don't really know the word. But someone said you should sing it. You guys want to request songs from the same? You guys want to ask questions? Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Guys, are you excited for new music? Because there's a ton coming out. Someone said, someone said, um, for me to tell stories. What kind of stories do you guys want to hear? You have to, like, let me know, because I really honestly don't know what they're going to do. But I'll sing whatever you want, you know? Oh my god, I'm having too much fun over here. But, anyway. At least I can say that I tried. Breaking your heart. I have so many baby hairs, like that's my struggle. But when I put my hair up, it's like there's so many baby hairs. Alright, I gotta redo this from you guys wanna see how I do buns? Or I make buns? If they're ready? How? If I can get this ponytail over, I'll be really good. Okay, so first, since my head is shaved, I just get all the hair that's like over it, over it, as you see. And then I just like do it like a high pony, like I pretend to do a high pony. And then, I do this, and I do like a twist. I twist, I twist, I twist. Someone said, is your area code a New York area code? Um, my area code used to be a New York area code, but I just changed my number, like, yesterday, or two days ago, because I was getting lots of weird texts, so I just changed it. And someone actually has my new number, and they, like, because I don't know how, like, Verizon did it, but I changed it, and then, like, I guess they gave my old number to someone, and they usually don't do that. I, I don't know what happened, but... Someone got my number, and I keep seeing, like, and this girl keeps texting me, and she's like, people keep calling me, people keep texting me, and I'm like, I'm sorry. But, I don't know, that's just, but, yeah, I know, it used to be a new period, though, but it's, it's a, it's a, <laughs> Have you ever had a paranormal experience, someone said? Um, no, I haven't. Like, I have had... Ah, wait, why am I saying no, I haven't? Um... But... Yeah, it feels really weird now that I have, I think, I think I have a, a, a New York area code now. Yeah, no, when I changed my number yesterday, I made it a New York area code, because, like, that's what it used to be, and then I changed it to a California one, and then yesterday I just was like, I'm just going to change it back to a New York one. So, I did. That's where I'm from, you know? So, yeah, that's basically, that's basically my story. But I feel bad for the person who got my number, because apparently they keep getting close um, someone said, oh wait, do you have paranormal experiences? Um, I've never had one that, like, really, really freaked me out, but, like, when I was younger, I used to hear, like, like, I would go, I would, I didn't, okay, at my house I grew up in, there was an attic, and, like, that's, my room was like this, and then there was a door, and that was the attic, so, like, my room was kind of in, like, the attic was in my room, and it had a, it was just a door, it looked like a closet, but it had, a, like, a key in it all the time that was, like, locked, and, um, I remember I would sometimes, like, cause, and there's a light 
in the for the attic it's the big attic so there's like lights a light in it too and I remember the light is on the inside of the door so like if you lock the door from the outside like let's say like I could lock my little brother in there and he wouldn't be able to get out but like I never did that I'm not saying I did that but I'm just giving you an example like you lock the door from the outside so like no one can open it from the outside and I remember, like, when I was younger, sometimes I would shut the door, shut the light. I mean, I would never shut it, but, like, the light would be off. And I would go downstairs, and I'd come back upstairs, and the light would be on. And, like, the door was totally locked. And it would just freak me out because I would just be, like, the only way to turn that light on is from the inside of the attic. And it just used to freak me out. And every time I used to bring it up to my dad, he would be like, oh, it's just, like, power shortages. And, like, like you don't have to freak out about that. And I used to get so scared like I used to freak out all the time like so freaked out and then sometimes I would like like the light would be on and I would come up and it would be off like it was just so weird and like things with the attic used to always freak me out and one time like the door was like cracked open but like I knew it was locked and shut before like just like weird things and I don't know I don't like I don't like that and it just freaked me out when I was younger um I'm trying to think I mean like in my old summer camp there was always like weird things that would happen like, we would, people would just, like, hear things and see things and, like, I don't know, just, like, weird stuff. You watch Ghost Adventures. No, I think shows like that are kind of, like, silly. Like, I think it's funny because it'd be, like, if anyone is here, give me a sign. And then they'll hear, like, a bang, like, a little, like, and they'll be, like, that was a four-year-old girl who died here 74 years ago. And it's just, like... How do you get that from, like, a little, <laughs> like, a little pin drop or something? Like, I don't know. I think it's, there's definitely freaky stuff that happened on those shows, but nothing, like, really crazy, I feel like. I don't know. There's an, aban- a, an abandoned, a sane insane, as in, I can't talk. There's an abandoned, insane asylum where I'm from, and my friends used to go and, like, break the windows. Because, I mean, people go, and, like, if it's abandoned, like, it's whatever. People would go, like, break the windows and, like, go inside and just, like, see what's up. And my friends, once I did not go, I was like, no way. They went and they, like, went inside and stayed there during the night and said it was the craziest thing. They said it was so freaky. Because once you're, like, putting yourself in that mindset, you just start freaking out. Um, yes, Jack, she was driving my car today. <laughs> um, so, hello, Um, guys, ask questions if you want to hear some stories. When did you decide to cut your hair like that? Um, I did this yesterday. I'm going to get it read, like, redone probably in, like, a week because my hair will really definitely start to be growing back by then. Um, guys, please check out my cover on YouTube. Please. Um, all right, I think I'm going to get off. This was just for fun. I love you guys. It was good talking to you, and I will see you soon. I will do you now soon. I love you very much. Check out my cover on YouTube. It's on my Twitter. Love you.